Praise God. Thanks for stopping by. Um, these are questions um, about the rapture and the end times. I'll be, what about all those places in the Bible that speaks of the second coming before second coming of Jesus Christ before the tribulation? I am amazed how many people actually believe this. Since pre-trib is so popular, so surely the Bible must confirm it. And often there are passages that pre-tribs might infer a prior removal before the tribulation. But in no place do they have an explicit statement that says Jesus Christ comes before the tribulation. This in sharp contrast to many passages that does say his coming is after the tribulation. Okay, true the second coming takes place. This is another question. True, the second coming takes place after the tribulation, but what about the rapture? The first stage of this coming, there has to be a first stage. So Jesus can come for the church, so that after the tribulation, he can come with the church. Thanks, Anatole and Reference Bible, page... 277 puts it this way, representing the standard pre-trib terminology. The rapture is the first of the two comings. The rapture is the time Christ comes for the saints to take them to heaven. The second coming is the time he comes from heaven with the saints, having, pre, having raptured them at least seven years before. Please take note of the use of the word rapture. To de differentiate from the second come, we shall be discussing this in more detail later on. Just what are we looking at here? If there is a coming before the tribulation and one after the tribulation, don't we have a second and then a third coming? Of course, pre-tribs know such terminology is not in the Bible. Therefore, they usually give us one or the other or both of the following explanations. Number one, we are to understand that there is, a, there is not a second and third coming. Rather, there is only one second coming with two stages. Problem with this. Um, this is virtually important. If this were true, we would expect Paul somewhere to explain it such a matter only on the contrary paul writes as if the singular second second coming of christ of jesus christ in matthew 24 was an assumption nowhere do we read where paul gives a dramatic new teaching that the singular coming taught by jesus needs further explanation that is not the one event, but it is in fact two stages or two separate events. Number two, we are to understand that it is not correct to refer to the rapture as the second coming. The second coming is the post-trib event only. Then they got a parentheses problem. This wouldn't work either. There is no Avoiding the rapture before the second coming. The rapture passage, 1 Thessalonians 4.15 calls it coming after Hebrew 9.28 calls it the second coming. And unto them who look for him shall, be, shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. There is no third time in the Bible. Scripture points the church to the second coming. Cutting through all of the preacher mystic double talk, despite their protests, what you have with Jesus' second coming twice is two second coming. Here lies the crux of the matter. It is, it is very much kind to the oneness trinity doc debate one god or plural persons one coming or plural comings if jesus comes twice then for such fundamental concept as this 
we would expect an explicit statement somewhere in the Bible saying so. At, at least it should say comings, plural, someplace. But here is where the Bible comes solitary down for post-trib. The Bible says only coming, singular. If the Bible says there is only one coming, and the Bible plainly says that it's, it is after tribulation, then there can be no other coming. Parentheses, pre, mib, or whatever. Okay, here's another question. Where's proof that there are two stages? What about the marriage supper of a lamb? Does the church participate in this, in heaven with Jesus, after tribulation is happening on earth? This means that there has to be a pre-tribulation coming. No. Revelation 19.7, on the contrary, places the marriage supper in immediate association with the post-trib coming. There, on the verge of his coming, after the tribulation, an announcement is made. The marriage supper of the Lamb has arrived, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife made himself ready. Made herself ready. A U-turn for Jesus would have to be read into 1 Thessalonians 4, 15, 17. For the church to be in heaven during the tribulation in that passage, Jesus is said to be descending. For the Lord his, himself shall descend from heaven. Then we which are alive and will remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Verse 16. Notice, he departed from heaven. Nothing is said about him after meeting the saints, reversing direction and going back to heaven. No, not in this text, nor anywhere else in the Bible. Is there a U-turn for Jesus at his coming? The saints meet the Lord in the air. In Matthew 25, 1 through 13, the only other place in the Bible where this word meet is used in connection with his coming is it has the ten virgins making a U-turn, not the bridegroom, not Jesus. The virgins representing the church go out to meet him and escort him to the marriage festivities. The Marriage Supper of the Lamb. These passages in Revelation 19.7-1, Thessalonians 4.15-17, and Matthew 25, 1-13, taken together can have only one meaning. The Lord descends from heaven on his way to earth. The saints meet him in the air and escort him to earth. And then follows the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. Thus we have only one coming, the marriage support, support supper does not support the basic pre-trib premise that Jesus has to come from for the church as a separate event, two stages in other words. God bless.